Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. It's your host, Alex and Taylor, and we have a super fun show for you today. We do. Right, we have King Calloway in the studio. We do, I mean, it's, you know, stagecoach this weekend. That's so right. So it would be just appropriate to it have would. a country boy band, you know? Didn't have anything to do with that. Wink, wink, just kidding. <laughs> what an <laughs> what amazing concept, a country boy band. And not just like a boy band, like three, no, we've got like six of them. So like, <laughs> yeah, you better bet I fought for that interview. <laughs> That's amazing. Also, we have Kira Kosterin in studio. Yes, and fun story about that. You were her first interview. Yeah, she actually just reminded me that I was her first interview six years ago. That's so crazy. And she has grown ago. so much. I mean, that's so weird. Did you start interviewing people at 13? I did. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, that's the thing. You never forget your first interview. I know. So we were doing a fishtail braid. She has many talents. I mean, she does. obviously she starred on Nickelodeon's The Thundermans. Mm -hmm. Now she's singing R&B, pop. Yeah. And she can also do a mean fishtail braid. So the girl can oh. do it all. Yep. We're going to get, and she likes to spill the tea. She's yeah. really good at spilling tea, which is, you know. Something I look for in people that I interview, so stick around because you do not want to miss everything she had to say. Yeah, but first up, we have to talk about what's happening. Stagecoach yeah. is finally here, and joining us right now is our fashion correspondent for the day, <laughs> Caitlin Fashe, everybody. Yay. Hello, welcome back. I'm clapping for myself. Caitlin Thank you. is fashion. Oh. I feel yes. like this girl comes dressed for work. I mean. We all are clothed at work, all right? Let me just state <laughs> that. But always to the nines. Always dressed to the nines. Thank so, you. So, Caitlin, I mean, I'm wearing my stagecoach flannel. Taylor and I both got our red nails yesterday. We are as ready as we can be I mean, for stagecoach. Yes. I am in my uniform. This is not my stagecoach uniform, people. <laughs> I'm happy inside. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. But let us know, what is everyone yeah. going to be wearing at stagecoach this weekend? So I think we should coin the term here, country chic. Yes. Because I think that's what it's going to all be about. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be country, but people are going to make it more high fashion this yes. year. So kind of like the belt Taylor's wearing, actually. Oh, oh me? Yeah. yeah. By the way, it's from Brighton, not sponsored, and it's reversible. Yes. Oh! Wait, your belt is literally red. everything I was going to say. I oh, think really? we're going to see red belts with chunky Chill, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. I, we're not editing this. So it's this is what I think we're going to see is like red yeah. with chunky belt buckles or yeah. like bright colors. Yeah. I think we'll add a perfect flair to your outfit. Yep, Something else that I think will add a fun spunk is colored boots. Yes. So we country boots are like a huge thing right now. I have some with zebra print. If you watch Sweet Beat TV Instagram, you would see them. Yeah. Um, so I think zebra print, leopard, blue, green, all the colors. I think that'll be huge. So fun. And Taylor, you're actually wearing another <laughs> yeah. one of my trends. What? At Coachella, we saw a lot of black. Yeah. You're fully black People, today. I am fashion forward, all right? <laughs> yeah. I've been wearing black since the day I graduated middle school, and wow, lo and behold. Yep, so I, I think we'll see a lot of, maybe not full black outfits, but accents, yeah. crop shirts, right. tied up shirts. I think that will be a huge thing. Yeah, that's pretty oh interesting, because I feel like at Stagecoach, we normally see a lot of white, you know? You yeah. see a lot of white kind of off the shoulder, crop tops or shirts. So it'll be interesting to see Do black you take the Totally. Are we gonna see a lot of flannel? I feel like think flannel was kind of a thing of like beginning stages of stagecoach. Like I yeah. said, I think it's gonna be more country streak. People are gonna be pulling out all the stops. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For all sure. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for yes. letting us know thanks what for everyone's having gonna me. be wearing at stagecoach. And uh, we'll see you next time for our Fashion update. Sounds good. Thank Just you. Just keep letting me know that I am. I know you're on point today. I have to say. Yeah, you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, now that we're all ready for stagecoach. Yep. I'm gonna go. Bye. And listen to some <laughs> amazing, amazing country music. Something else we have to talk about: a girl that started in country music, mm -hmm. Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has been teasing a new mm -hmm. album since. I don't even remember. It feels like it's been oh, a, a year already, right? Let me tell you how long she's been doing it. Because you Swifties out there and your theories, like, I, who are you all? Like, Carmen San Diego? <laughs> like, I don't know. But, and I literally had to write so many notes. I have a scroll here. <laughs> you guys literally don't sleep on your Swiftie job. 
You're very swift, though, I will say, in certain things. Because someone said that people have been, you know, she's been, obviously, she's one for, like, putting, what do you call it? Leaving little eggs. Leaving unicorns? Leaving eggs? No, Easter eggs. Yeah, like, Speaking of Easter, just that planting just seeds, yes. eggs, anything similar. But anyways, someone, so there's an official fan account on Twitter that's verified. Right. It's like... We should just make fan accounts and get verified. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyways. Um, but basically, they tweeted 115 rainbows on January 1st. And if you do the math, January 1st plus 115 days equals April 26th. Wow. Say? So, like, so from the beginning of this year, Taylor Swift mm -hmm. has been teasing TS7. Yes. And the day. Sounds like a Tesla. Finally here tomorrow. Yes. It does sound like a Tesla. TS7. <laughs> um, it is, but you don't actually, actually, actually. <laughs> she even mentioned it before because as Taylor Swift does, when she was talking uh, with Elle magazine, the 30 things I learned before turning 30, guess what number 26 was? What? It was, and I quote, I make countdowns for things, sorry to read my writing, I'm excited about. And this whole thing has been a countdown. Oh wow, And that was yeah. number 26 of things she learned, 30 things she learned before turning 30. Yes. So like, mm, accident? I think no. No, no, definitely not an accident when it comes to Taylor Swift. No. She plans everything she promotes yeah. and if you've noticed her Instagram lately, it is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I mean, it's, she has pastel mm -hmm. colors everywhere. She's been posting photos right. of, you know, suitcases. She posted a photo of a rose bouquet and mm -hmm. beautiful pink. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, it looks like sherbet all over her. She was at the yes. Time Magazine red carpet for 100 Most Influential yep. People, as we mentioned uh, earlier this week. At the gala or gala, you decide. Yeah. <laughs> but she know. was in yeah. the same kind of palette. It was pink and yellow. Yeah, she looked stunning. Yes. So this girl knows what she's doing, and tomorrow is the day we will officially find out if Taylor Swift is announcing an album. Sure. I, I know, there's a lot of, and again, there's so many fan theories, mm -hmm. Swifty theories. What can we call that? Swift, but I don't know, I'm not good at that. But anyway, Swifteries? Swifties and their theories. <laughs> it kind of rhymes, right? Yeah. And like, the thing is, if these aren't, they're really thought out too. Like Taylor Swift's fan base are thinkers, you they know? Are. Like I want them on my team when I'm trying to stalk an ex or something like that. They yeah. figure things out. But you know, some people are thinking of fashion line. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't really know if I buy that one. But watch me be wrong. I've been wrong before. <laughs> Would not be the first or last time. However, because they just saw her new merch and it said Taylor yeah. Swift on the side of her arm and the pastel shirt that she was wearing. And then when you go to her site, it redirects you to the countdown. Right. So you're like, oh, maybe she's starting a fashion line. She's gonna like, you know, do something with Target or like yeah. something big. Yeah. If you haven't like, seen the photo, Taylor's in New York. Yeah. She's wearing again same palette, tie dye, beautiful color mm -hmm. shirt. And then her arm, she's just kind of touching her hair and you just see Taylor Swift down her arm. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's so natural. Like if I was just touching my hair yeah. with Taylor Audette, <laughs> not to be confused, <laughs> down the side, it on in time. someone would think, it'd probably be like, oh, does she just get like pooped on by a bird? Like I cannot I look that natural as she does. But I know. That's why I'm not She's Taylor amazing. Swift. But Clearly. Taylor, we want new music. I mean, there are so many powerhouses in the world Releasing new music, new albums, Bieber, mm -hmm. Adele, Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. Ariana, just, she released her album, right, but it's right. still going strong. I mean, there are so many exciting things to look forward to. I know. I think and more, we need it. I think more of this, the pastel color palette and whatnot is just really going to be the type of album she puts out. Yeah. So what do pastel colors mean? I don't know. <laughs> but like, with reputation, it's it happiness. Was, right, but it was like darker and whatever. Yeah. Pastel just kind of reminds me like, I'm in a field and I'm just like reflecting on life and I'm happy or maybe I've gotten over something. I don't know. I think definitely. I mean, she's been in a very happy relationship with her boyfriend, Joe Allen. He's yeah. been killing it. I mean, he was at the Oscars, the Emmys, you name it. He's been all over. So I think they are just living life in New York yeah. and London and everywhere they've been together. And we just I, need a song about them. I want a song. And so. she's happy. So I feel like this is going to be happier music. Yeah, I think happier I music, know. especially the vibe she's presenting. I think that's what we're going with. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd have to agree. If she came out with some like metal album wearing all pastels, it'd be like, yeah, yeah wouldn't add up. Amazing. So. Well, awesome. Everyone look forward to tomorrow because we're going to be back with some info about Taylor releasing her album. I can't I think it's wait. Happening. And hopefully some of your fan theories are right. If you were right about it, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Any excuse to tell you to comment. Engage, people. <laughs> Let's do it. Like, right. like, like. <laughs> but thing is, speaking of other things we like. What do we like? We Day. Boys. Oh, yes. The amazing Sorry. celebration of We Day. If you don't know what the We Movement is about, it's all about empowering the voices of young people and their families to create the change they want to see in their communities and beyond. And this is, uh, it's in the States. It's globally. I mean, it's around the world. Right kind of empowering the youth and what better way to share it with 
a wee day where they. It's about coming together. Yes. It's about how it literally takes a lot of people to accomplish something, and they highlight those accomplishments, which are great. And we always see a lot of really influential people on the carpet, and yeah. I mean like. A A list celebrity status. Jennifer um, Aniston was there last year. I know Selena Gomez was. Like everyone comes to support this, and I think it's just like good. You got to pay it forward, you know? Yeah, so. no, definitely. And and Earth Day was actually earlier this week, so it's yes. just kind of a nice way to end the week. I mean, we are one with the Earth. We are one with the Earth. So we is a movement that mm -hmm. you know when we come together, we yes is more powerful than, than me. me. So mm -hmm. I had a chance earlier today, very earlier today, mm -hmm. six in the morning, might I add, uh, to talk to some of your favorite stars on the carpet about the power of we and the power of the youth and changing the world. So take a look at that right now. Hey guys, Alex Schiffman here, coming to you from the blue carpet at We Day. And in honor of Earth Day, we're finding out how some of your favorite stars celebrate the Earth every day. Check it out. The We Movement celebrates the power of the youth to change the world. So why do you think the youth has the power to change the world? Well, I think the fact that we are at We Day and there are thousands of tweens and teens who are here who want to create and affect change, I think that in itself is something to to really applaud them for and also to be able to speak on stage and to know that they're listening, that's really neat too. Oh my gosh, well I think they just have so many more resources and tools, you know, with, with social media and the digital world. Like I think about what I was doing as a youth and it was, I was not contributing anything and these kids are just literally changing the world day by day and it's so inspiring. More and more every day it's just about honesty and like using our voices for good and just taking the negative things and everything that goes on in the world and just changing that to positivity and I feel like seeing that all on social media all the time and everything I feel like it makes us that much more aware of how much positivity is so important especially yeah. in times like this. The WE movement also celebrates the everyday change maker so in honor of Earth Day what do you do every day to celebrate the earth? I don't use plastic straws I think oh, that, I mean. You're one of the metal straw I'm users. I'm sorry, I am, but they have the cleaners, yeah. so it's good. Because people will complain about the crust and stuff, right. but like, I use the cleaner, so you're all good if you use the cleaner. And I know Starbucks too is like, they have like the lids now, so you don't have to use straws, which I think is great. That's like a small thing that I do every yeah, day. Yeah, no. But it, it helps, right? It definitely helps. I have a lot of like little succulents and plants that I have, and it's making sure that those. Well, guys, are you're living. Alive. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, just being able to create cleaner air, that's a small contribution, but hey, it's one that I get to add to every day. I mean, I'm like a recycler, like a big time recycler. Like we've got the different like bins. My boyfriend is like, all? he's so annoyed by me because I'm like, no, wrong bin, wrong bin. <laughs> so I mean, we try and recycle as much as we can in my household, but that's like, you know, an everyday thing you can stay on top of, I think that's realistic. The word we, why do you think it's so much more powerful than the word me? You know, we is more powerful than me because we work better as a team and we do things better when we all do it together. And yeah. we create bigger and better change when we can all agree on the same things. And even if we don't, I think this generation really wants to learn how to disagree with respectful opinions. And I think that's something that's really neat as well. I think it just means that like everyone has something to offer and joining forces, you know, it's if everyone has one thing to bring, you bring 10 people together, that's 10 things, you know what I mean? So it's, it's literally together you're making a change. Well, isn't wow. that so inspiring? You know, there are very few things to wake up early in the morning for. That will always be one of them. Oh. So good for you. I'm glad you went. Some good takeaways? Some good takeaways. Yeah. I mean, good. the youth is the future, and we are here mm -hmm. for it, of course. But don't go anywhere, because coming up, Taylor had a chance to talk with Kira Kosserin yes. in the studio about all her new music, right? Yes, and once again, let me remind you, we spelled the T, so... Call the janitor. We got we got a spillage on aisle studio 1A. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the show. I have been joined by Kira Kosser and is back with us today hello. to talk all about her album, Off Brand. Yes. We're gonna keep it on brand while we talk off brand. Yes. Or maybe we'll go off brand. Who knows, really? Who's to say? We really knew you as a teenager, right? Yeah. And actually one of your first and your first interview yes. was here at Sweetie High, not with me personally. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll throw some B-roll over that. Please do. I uh, I did a fishtail braid tutorial because I got there and Alex was like, do you have any special skills? And I was Yikes. like, oh, I can braid my hair. I'm 15. And that was what we did. And now she's 21 and still doing her own hair. <laughs> now I'm 21 and somehow I've gotten worse at doing my own hair. I don't know how that works. Let's talk the first single that you released, Vital. Yes. Your voice is unfair. One. <laughs> it's got this like sultry R&B yet pop. Thank like, you. If you haven't heard the song, I am sorry for you, but luckily you can change that on oh your own God. terms and go listen to it. And all of your music so far, it seems to have like a similar undertone, am I right? Yeah, so it's it's all sort of different arenas of R&B and pop uh -huh. that I love. 
Um, vinyl is uh, is more on the acoustic end of things, of the sort of jazzy stuff that I grew up listening yeah. to. Yeah, we see you on the electric um, guitar. I love yeah, that. Thank yeah, you, thank you, thank you. Really and cool. then there's, you know, the stuff like Take This Outside is just, I just wanted some bangers. Some fun. I just yeah. wanted some songs <laughs> that I could like get up on stage and jump around like an idiot and just have so much fun. Right. And that's, that's kind of one of those songs for me. How did, because you're just, Dropping music left and right, which I am. we love. I have so much more coming so soon Good. too. There's so much happening. 2019 <laughs> is the year of you and the year of us because we get to listen to you. So oh it's a win-win scenario. Thank you. How much of this relates to your actual life? Because All of it. every single word. Every single word. I write everything that I sing oh, or co-write with people. You just opened um, up a can of worms. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, ask me anything. That's it's so funny. I'm like I'm such an open book about I love the it. fact that my lyrics are my diary. Like I have nothing to hide. I I knew when I got into yeah. this business what I was signing up for. Um, but nobody ever asks me the personal oh, stories. Well, so there's a lot of tea to be spilled wow. that's just sitting in the cup. Okay, well, um, I feel a responsibility <laughs> that I now have to take on. Spill that I know, tea. everyone's like, why don't you ask her this? <laughs> I didn't know ahead of time. All right, let's let's talk about it then. Is there someone that you actually used to listen to vinyls with? Yes. And yeah. who is that? This, so this is, I mean, I think probably fairly known at this point. I wrote that song at the end of my like first uh -huh. relationship, first love, um, and it was, it, I had I had like given him a, a record player for Valentine's Day or his okay, birthday or yeah. something, um, but he introduced me to a lot of artists that ended up becoming my favorite artists. And even though I wrote that song four years ago, uh -huh. the artists that I mention in the verses are still some of my favorite artists. Oh, really? And in fact, we hadn't spoken for a few years when the song came out, and he called me the day it dropped, which was. Awkward, but it's cool. <laughs> did you answer? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I always answer. I'm not petty like that. I'll, I'll answer a call from anybody. Um, I don't like hold grudges yeah. per se. But I was like, hey, like I wrote that song a while ago. Uh -huh. like, you know that, right? <laughs> That's gotta bring, does it ever bring up new emotions? You've lived with the song for so many years. Yeah. But people just hearing it for the first time, yeah. it could be a little raw, maybe. Maybe with the person on the other end of that, that line. You know what? Actually, I feel like when I write a song, it's me figuring out my feelings. When I record the song, it's therapeutic. When I perform the song, sometimes it's a little hard and it takes me back. But once I release a song, uh -huh. I feel like it sort of takes on a life of its own and like right. it, it sort of belongs to the listener at that point. That. And it becomes this entity that was maybe born of a super intense emotion or experience, but it sort of takes on its own life at that point. Okay. So it's, I like it's that. less. Also, if we're being real, the songs we that are. I've written that are like the most heart wrenching uh -huh. for me to sing. I haven't released yet okay. because I've been scared to cry on stage. But you, all of this is on brand for you. Like you said, you mean every word, you write every word. Right. So uh, explain off brand. Okay. So it is on brand for me yes. as a human. Okay. Um, it is not on brand for how people knew me for a very long time, which was uh, as a okay. young Nickelodeon star. Because I loved working for Nickelodeon and I had so much respect for them mm -hmm. and I, I kind of was really scared for a while to put out music that was very much not right. in that image. And I kind of got to a point where I was like, all right, if I'm gonna do this for real and be an artist and follow my vision and create the honest music I wanna create, I have to let myself be a little off brand. Your album is off brand. It is. You're gonna answer these questions and you can do so even if you have to go off brand. I'm okay Ooh. with it, it's up to you, all right? Oh, I'm excited for this one. How many IG accounts, Instagram accounts, have you muted? Oh, I thought you were gonna ask how many I have. Oh, I was gonna be like, oh, no. are we exposing Finstas now? I mean, um, I have, a lot of, like. I have a lot of Have Instagram you muted accounts. your own Finstas? <laughs> I mean, if that's in there. Who have I muted? You don't have to say who, but I haven't actually are muted. you not a muter? I don't really mute on Instagram. No. Girl, it's a powerful tool if you need it. <laughs> Just let you know. You know what? I feel like in the past couple of years, one of my like biggest goal as a social media consumer mm -hmm. and like in reevaluating the way I interact with social media was to kind of conquer FOMO. Mm. And I feel like I have sort of yeah. gotten a lot better at like being happy with where I am right now. Yeah. So I feel like that was the main reason I used to maybe mute people. Like, oh, everyone's at Coachella. I don't want to see it. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. But I've gotten to the point now where I'm just like, yes, girl, like you're having so much fun. Like, get it, boo. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't mute. And I've never had an ex who uses social media. I don't know how this keeps happening. To really? Me, I keep getting so lucky. Like, everybody who I- What? Where are you finding these Yo, I don't know, dude. In LA, people. too. Like, I keep yeah. getting these people who just like don't really use socials. And so there's no like subtweets to contend with. There's no like pictures of them with their new person they're dating, yeah. like it's great. Is that frustrating at first though, if you kind of want to do a little stalking, a yeah. little, yeah. I, then, I mean, <laughs> I, have, I have my ways. I have my ways. I, right, I'm gonna call you. I have, found, <laughs> I have found myself at three in the morning being like, how am I on like this person I used to date's mm -hmm. sisters, math teachers, mm -hmm. like yeah. Facebook oh, yeah. likes connected to some other account of music they listen to. Like it's, 
Have you accidentally oh, liked yeah. it or commented on any of those before? No, nope. I generally put my phone on airplane mode right before scrolling. Oh my god, what that. a life hack. That's genius. Thank you, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm learning so much right now. One, you're a detective if I need information. Yeah. I'm gonna call you. Two, the power of the airplane mode. Yeah. All right, anything you've had to unlearn? <laughs> yes. Um, I have had to unlearn being afraid of disappointing people by saying no. As I got older, I kind of found myself being very much stretched thin, especially yeah. because my career is is so demanding, not just time-wise, but emotionally, you know? And yeah. I'm, I'm pouring my heart into music, yep. or I'm playing a character being chased by a murder. You know what I mean? Yeah, Whatever no, I'm no, doing, no, it's like sure. very emotionally dang. So I had to learn how to like comfortably and kindly and calmly say no I for my own self-preservation. just heard this on a podcast, and it yeah. reminds me is that Saying no actually makes your yes more powerful. So yeah. when you do commit to something, it means that you actually want to be there, which is nice. Like this yeah. interview, she gets happy to be here. This is not a 60 minute interview, everyone. I'm sorry, but she's doing so, so much because we are going to see you on season two of yes. Light as a Feather, Hulu, and Awesomeness. Oh my God, I'm having Girl. way too much fun on yeah. this show. Okay. It's totally different than any character anyone has ever seen me play before. You mean this isn't on um, brand for Nickelodeon? No. <laughs> Make sure you go follow her, go get off brand. Please do. Just do all the things. Do all, all right? the things. All of them, whatever makes you happy. Drink all the coffee, do all the things, be Drink nice some to water. people. <laughs> You know, date around. Drink some water. Don't. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Literally, girl, I've been dehydrated for like three months. Drink some water. Usually, if you're like, oh, what was I forgetting to do? It's drink water. It's always drink yeah, water. Yeah. Do, do you ever play that game where you're like, I have a headache. I wonder if mm -hmm. it's because I have too much caffeine, not enough caffeine, because I haven't slept, because of my glasses, because I'm staring at my phone, or a brain tumor. Actually, all yeah. of those have gone through my head. Yeah. Any glasses wearing, contact wearing people. Yeah, get it. Yes. Shout, right. out, shout out to fellow can't see anything without technology people. All right, we just talked about the queen, Kira. And so why not end the show with the kings? That's right. They're making moves in country music. We have King Calloway here to join us today. I mean, come on, we're so on brand at Stagecoach this weekend. I know. These boys are climbing the country music charts. So if you haven't streamed their music, make sure you check them out. But first and foremost, make sure you check out this interview. Here's our interview with King Calloway. Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. I've been joined by the boys that everyone has their eye on this year. We got King Calloway with us. Hello. All six of them. Yes. Yep. Boys, this is a record for us here in studio. We've never had a boy band of six, because really there just aren't that many. The seven other, they're, they're late, they're coming. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining being, you know, one girl among six, but here we go. I just have so many questions. I mean, six of you. There's so many things with six, like how do you travel? How do you guys all sit together at dinner? I mean, <laughs> how, how does this work, a table of six? We have a formation for uh, pictures and for dinner as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, the dinner reservation is a little it's tricky. It's gotta be though. tricky. Yeah. It's like us and then a couple, you know, our posse that we travel with, so it's like <laughs> it's at least 12 people. Yeah. It's at least 12 people, like all the time. So dining in is maybe a, a yeah. good thing. Yeah. 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 Take out right and now. then the selfie game. Because you do have it down, I've seen oh, it. Goodness. I don't know yeah. if you have it's so I've seen a couple. If you're going, um, I think like two of them have it down. It's difficult. Yeah. yeah. So it helps you in the landscape. Whoever then, has the longest arm, really, yeah, right? Exactly. That's how you pick that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, and you guys are unique not only in that you're six. I read that there's no lead. No. None, so, how, how did that's. I've never heard of that before. I mean, there's always a lead. Someone's always a lead. You gotta yeah. have a leader. We um we have three lead singers, but the six of us all sing. So we kind of yeah we don't like being like oh this is any one lead singer. So every song we have is split equally in terms of like melody between uh, Jordan, Chad, and myself as like the three okay. lead vocalists. But then Chris, Caleb, and Austin are like beefing up all the choruses and like verses with harmonies and stuff everywhere. Okay. And then we do have one song where all six of us take the lead, like so. That was good fun. Okay, so let's say picture taking time, right? Wait, I need album art. So we shouldn't read into it. Whoever's in the middle, who's on the side, it really uh, doesn't no, matter. You all just yeah. flip a coin and just yeah. stay in a formation. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Take notes. <laughs> Everyone needs to take notes. So if we have no bad sides, good sides, we're literally just, oh, well, one. No, we have good sides. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually my good side. Yeah. This is my good side. Simon, what's your good side? This is my good side. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pretend. Oh, Simon, what's the same? Do the whole interview that way. And this is mine. We'll just do opposite. Yeah. All right. Well, then, you guys have been named not only by Billboard as you know, once to watch in 2019, but also uh, by Amazon Music. So, congrats. And here at Sweetie High, we're telling you too, they are the ones to watch. Let's say you're all going out, right? Yes. Someone. Yeah. We're just totally transitioning here. Okay. Meets a lady, 
That's fine. Does the band have to agree? Yeah. Like, do we have to? Like the approval? Or is like... there ever competition? Jordan's already talking to her. Yeah, Jordan's already got it. <laughs> 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 That's so true. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna let this happen. I'm not even gonna interject. Just let it happen. We are definitely we're protective over each other. Yes. Okay. We care a lot about each other. A lot about each other. You know, and I think that we've been very lucky that uh, when we make decisions, we make them collectively, mm -hmm. and it all comes out of care. Speaking of, we have World for Two. Yes. If you have not seen the music video, do yourself a favor, take a beach day if you will, because you guys filmed this music video on the beach. Yes. Again, so many questions. How did you get that grand piano <laughs> onto the sand? I, it was beautifully done, and I think it's kind of cool because you don't see that too often within country, the way in which you did it. Yeah. So what went into that? And again, the most important hard-hitting question, how did you get the piano? Logistically, from <laughs> again, the band and, to the an amazing, an amazing group team, team that, that were helping us out that day and helped to carry the, the, the grand case down like 5,000 steps yeah. off the beach. Because it wasn't just like, oh, just right off the boardwalk, let's say. No. You were deep into like the yeah. cove no, we, so area. We, we, were, yeah. we were in El Matador in um, Malibu. And again, very exclusive yeah. part to get to. Exactly. Yeah. And there was a. We, with that, with the steps also being in mind, there was also high tide that day. Oh, good. Yeah. So shoes definitely got ruined that yeah. day. Um, but it was just such an amazing experience to get to go through that and have an amazing group of people working with us, make, making us look good, essentially. Yeah. Well, at least just say I'm good. You got yeah. that going for you, and you looked great. And again, if everyone wants to listen to that, you can really find it everywhere. But also, we have your self-titled EP, which was released January 25th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it is early in your career. Like I said, mm -hmm. self-titled debut EP. Yeah. Let's say you guys are really bopping off, like, in a couple years from now. Yeah. What's, like, one thing you hope doesn't change at all? Either about yourself or the band. I hope we still go to Chick Fil A. Yes, yeah, that would be cool. just not on Sundays. But yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I don't want to change a thing. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I don't want to ever change. I think that keeping the same mentality and remaining humble and treating each other with respect and love and care and having the same passion towards each other as we do the music. As long as that never changes, which it won't, because we'll, we're all we'll be on top of that, and yeah. there won't ever be any issues. Well, you know what also shouldn't change every time you guys you know, put something out there. You come back here, we just make yeah. it part of the tradition, right. and I yeah. put you in check and make sure no one's changed. That's, 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 that's what I'll do. I'll do. I mean, we'll come back. I think I earned my paycheck today. That's all I'm saying, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I've locked you guys in. All right, we'll tell everyone where they can follow you, keep up with your journey. All not cross all social. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, we are, King, <laughs> we are King Calloway. You can find us, almost all of our socials is at King Calloway. Well guys, I know when I'm gonna see you next next time I hear that you've released something, yes, so exactly. perfect. Until then, everyone make sure you go keep up with them. I mean, most days I love my job, but there's some days I really love my job. Yeah? I mean, you know what, what a great group of guys and talented. Yeah. It's so rare that I am in the company of a great group of guys <laughs> that are right. also talented. <laughs> That's right. Well, how much fun did you have with them? I mean, great. I love country music. I can't sing it for the life of me, so to be surrounded by people that can is just something that I, you know, I always cherish. I really do. So make sure you check out their music. I mean, I've been. Lo I love doing the show. I really do. But your girl's got to bounce because yes. I got stagecoach to head up. All right, head up, well, not head up. <laughs> I've never headed anything up in my life. <laughs> All right, and those of you that are heading to stagecoach, have so much fun. Be, Be safe. safe, and Be we'll safe. catch you guys next time. Bye. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, especially if you're a cowboy. Bye.